everyone how you doing welcome back um, if you recall the last time I was having a problem trying to figure out why some of these platforms were a different color than the rest and I went in and I looked at the um, objects and in here in lighting I made sure they were all uh, uh, static and that didn't help and I was scratching my head and finally I remembered <laughs> that I had put a reflection probe in here and there it is and so the reflection probe is of course re reflecting the uh, scene here but if you look at it that uh, box around it isn't big enough if I took this and I move it watch what happens aha look at that see I completely forgot I had put a reflection probe in there so what I need to do now is to take this reflection probe this area and increase it to in encompass the whole thing so I should be able to come over here to the inspector and go into edit and I can grab these parts here and pull them down and pull this out like this and just try and make sure that the reflection probe is encompassing the whole scene. That's all. No biggie. That that, that happens though. I, I, I scratch my head for days wondering what it could be and it turns out to be something very easy. There we go. There we go. So now that looks a little better. All right. So um, what I need to do now is come up with the walls and the floor. And I also want to put some sort of doors that people can come through on the ends here and also maybe at uh, or near maybe every other platform near the stairways here so I need to work on that so let's go back to blender and see what we can do here um, actually before I do that you know what I should do is create another floor plane real quick like this and uh, let's zero it out there we go now it is no, that's not going to help me because the scale's like that. So, let me delete that. Maybe a cube. Let's bring in a cube and see. So this would be one meter, right? This would be one meter. Yeah, so what I want to do real quick is just see how big this should be. So I'm just going to move this out like this. And uh, let me move this. I'm just getting a sense of this scale so when I go back into Blender I know about how big these things should be. So it looks like uh, 20 by 34, 35, something like that. Let's see. Looks like 20 meters by 33 meters should do it. Let's try that. All right, so, and I may need to block it out. In other words, make the floor square let's see because I've had problems in the past with creating this really huge floor and then the uh, textures get all blurry when I have to scale them up real big so let's just try this here if this is two meters wide now because I switched over to meters I don't remember if I was dealing in feet at the very beginning but I've switched over to meters 
and uh, let's say let's if I need 20 meters wide let's just say 20 by 20 let's try this that's not meters let's try this 20 meters by 20 meters there we go and so I may use this or I could do 30 by 30 hmm because I am going to need well let's do 20 by 20 let's try let's try this okay so I should uh, say how's everybody doing out there I uh, haven't taken a look at what's going on out here um, so Darren looks kind of like Gordon Freeman I have no idea who Gordon Freeman is <laughs> But I'm sure he is an extremely good-looking guy. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. All right. Um, so tell me, who is Gordon Freeman? Explain to me in 25 words or less. <laughs> who is this person? Um, so I think also I'm going to add a few edge loops in this plane because I've also found that trying to texture just one polygon can be a problem in Unity as well. So I'm going to hit W and subdivide. Oh, I need to do this, don't I? Let me turn this on. Um, and I'm going to subdivide a couple times like that. That should be fine. Okay. Uh, oh, Half-Life. <laughs> okay, that, that did not click. Okay, all right. Um, I, I think I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. Yes, <laughs> voted Game of the Decade. Yes, I just forgot his name. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's see. I think this should be, I'm going to call this floor plate. Let's call this, I'll just call it floor plate. Because I think I'm going to have multiples. I'll give it a new material, call this floor plate as well. Um, let's see. And I think that should be good. I should be able to just take this into uh, Substance Painter and apply that base metal material that I used for these guys up here. Yes, it was a compliment. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's, yes, and I looked nothing like Morgan Freeman, although I wish I had his voice, his deep, sonorous voice. That would be awesome. Um, but we take what we're given, right? So I'm going to save this and export this out as an FBX once again, make sure selected objects is chosen. I'm going to call this cargo hold floor plate like this. And let's see what I can do with this. Uh, export, and I'm going to take it into Substance Painter and just see if I can get something interesting on here that looks kind of like it belongs in the room. Uh, floor plate and okay what okay I completely chose the wrong thing let's try this again new don't save this oh did I already name it floor plate Oh, here, this floor plate. Okay, I had already, yeah, my, my n naming conventions aren't real good. 
Uh, and of course, I haven't you 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 beat it, so it's going to argue with me. Fine. You smart UV project. Oh, let's make sure that the um, let's see. Yeah, I need to apply the scale. There we go. Now let's you u smart UV project. There we go. And let me go back into the UV editing and just make sure that stretch UV bounds is not selected, but it's square anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So that's good. All right, try it once again. Here we go. FBX, this floor plate. And then, that's the good thing about this, is your, is uh, the programs will tell you when you need to do something. All right, so there it is. Now, um, so what I need to do is grab let me just try this. It was a uh, metal main, wasn't it? Let me just try this and see what happens. Oh, I've got to bake the textures on it, don't I? Let me do that. Bake the textures. Um, I don't really need much at all. It's just a... You know what I could do is take... Um, Oh, yeah, let me do this again. It didn't like it because I didn't do the the vertex color. Man. Uh, let's try this again. Bake textures. ID. Switch it over to material. There we go. Okay. All right. Fantastic that people are helping each other. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Uruguay. Hello from Uruguay. Thank you for joining us. And from Brazil. How you doing? All right. Let me try this and see if I can finally get this to work. Uh, where's my metal main here? Let's try this. No, nothing there. So what we could do, um, let, me, let me try something here. I'm gonna go back to my materials and just try a plain material, but I may not have, let me see. Huh, let me just try this. This looks like it'd be kind of fun. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Um, let me try this. Oh, let me get this. There we go. Okay. Try this. Yeah, so this doesn't look too bad, although that's very shiny. I like bits of rust and scuff marks there, but uh, let's bring up the roughness just a bit. So it's not quite so shiny. Okay, I like that. Let's also increase the UV scale. Let's take that up to 8 and see if it's too much. Uh, we're beginning to see repeats there so let's take it back let's take it to five see what happens yeah that's a little bit better we're not seeing as many repeats although i could keep it at three and try it at least oops let's try this let's keep it at three and try it and see how it looks 
All right. Yeah, why not? I'm going to save it. I'll call it uh, Cargo Hold Floor. And uh, let's take it into Unity and just try it. I don't know. Oh, I need to export the textures. Let's use Unity 5 Standard Metallic. Uh, I'll create a new folder here. Hold floor. And open. There we go. Now, let's take it over to Unity. So I don't want this. Let's get rid of this. Delete. Let me bring in that new... <coughs> here it is. See how it works. Yeah, okay. Good. Now let's bring in those textures. Um, got them in my Substance Painter folder here. Export cargo hold floor. Yikes. Let me try that again. There we go. Uh, let's bring these in. So we need albedo, metal, normal, fix. All right, now let's, um, what do I want to do? Let me grab that directional light. I got to redo the lighting in here because it kind of sucks. I need to, let me turn that like this so we can kind of see it. Um, okay, let me add a, a collider onto it so I don't fall through it. I'll just add a box collider. And um, let's see, is my guy here on the platform? No, let me move him over here. And let's see what we can do. Hit play. It's not too bad. It looks big. I mean, the scuff marks look kind of big, but these are really big containers. So, I mean, I guess they would make those kind of marks, wouldn't, wouldn't you think? Yeah. All right. Let's give that a try. Um, I'm also going to just take this now and just duplicate it and use it here as well. So uh, let me go to my top view here and I'll go to my wireframe and I'll just duplicate and move this way like this. See if that'll work. Okay. Oh, got a little more to do here. All right. All right, let's see how that works. Let's run around. So, here's our containers. Here's our... So, yeah, that feels... I don't know, how's that feel? I think it feels okay. Yeah, I think the, n the next thing to do is get the walls and l lighting done, or at least begin it, so that we can kind of get a sense of how it's going to feel moving through there. Okay. Uh, let me clean up a bit. I, I always like to clean up here. This needs to go in the models folder. Um, I want to take let me cargo hold floor and copy that. And in my textures folder, I want to create a new folder called cargo hold floor. And I want to move these guys into that. 
right here. There we go. Okay, so everything's nice and clean. I like it. Um, let's see. I had the metallic map. Did I not do that? Let me see. Oh, you're right. Thank you so much. All right, so, oops. Metallic. Oh, look at that. Well, that might be better then. <laughs> Let's run around there. <coughs> oh, I don't know. Do you, do you like that better? I got kind of used to it being a lighter color, but this is, I think this works kind of, kind of nicely. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I kind of like that. All right. Cool. Thank you. Now, let's see what else we can do. What kind of, uh, well, you know what? Sounds crazy. But could this also be the walls, too? I mean, we're not going to see much of them. Right? Um, well, remove these here. What if we did that? Would it be, would it be wrong of me to <laughs> use this as the walls too? Would you uh, 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 tell on me? Let's just see what happens. Is this too, too dark? Maybe this is too dark. Maybe uh, I need another material. You know? Maybe I need an, another material in here. I don't know. What's your opinion? Make the albedo lighter just to see yeah better another material you you think it's just too it 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 does look kind of <laughs> like i'm cheating now, now doesn't it all right okay fine i'll do it so what i can do now and that worked pretty well, just putting it up like that for the wall. So what I could do is just take this thing again. Um, and this time, I don't have to do this, but I think I will. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to uh, spin it around the X, R, X, 9, 0, like this. Just gonna bring it in so it's kind of like that. All right, so this will now be uh, the wall. So I'll create a new material, call it walls. And I'll also rename the object, call it walls. And lo and behold, we have a new object for the walls. All right. Now let's uh, export this as an FPX and I'll just use this uh, as the walls. I may add more greebles and things on it, but for right now I want to see how this is going to work. I want to kind of enclose it and then turn on the lights or bring in lighting and see how it's going to work. So. 
for this. Oh, I didn't want to open up designer. Uh, let me close this. I do not want to open this. Quit. This is what I want. Okay. File, new. I'm going to bring this thing in, and this is the... Uh, Where here we go, the walls. Okay. I'm gonna bake it. Make sure it's material. Twenty forty eight. Okay. You've worked in the shipping industry for fourteen years and seen the inside of many Vessels. So, what can you help me with here? <laughs> Slate machine. <laughs> um, is this at all coming together looking like anything that you might have seen? Well, that's interesting. It's a little bit too... Uh, that's a bit too much, I would think. Wouldn't you think? Let's uh, see what else we can find here. Looking good. Thank you. Cool. All right. Um, what else do we have in here that could be... Let's try this. Not brushed iron, that's for sure. Galvanized iron. Yuck. No, that's not going to work. I worked in a galvanizing plant when I was in my uh, night when I was 19 I guess 19 and 20 that was hard work I'd rather be doing this um, that's interesting but I don't think that's what we want how about iron raw okay actually maybe let me just see something here no five let me try what if we used well I was thinking that maybe we could use this and then add a bit of rust to it but I'm not sure that's going to work H what about iron grainy let me get rid of this pop that in there no well what I could do is use this, the same thing we use for the floor, but do a little bit of adjusting here. So maybe I could take that up a little bit and make the color a little bit brighter, like that. Um, take the UV scale down to one, no. That's not going to work. Maybe five. Okay. Let's see if I can add rust. I used to have an iron rust in here. There it is. Something like this. That's too, too much. But if I take this and put it underneath here, and let's try and add a generator to this. and do the dripping one here okay let's uh, invert it looking a little better let's take the rust and increase the UV scale maybe to seven something like that okay um, 
And let's also play with the intensity of the drips and the rust here. Maybe something like that. There we go. So it's kind of dripping down. Something like this. Well, let's see. Um, I feel like this is a little bit too much. Let me come back here and take this up to seven as well. Okay. And this iron rusty, let me take this up to nine. No, it doesn't really do much of a difference there. I think we're getting there though. This is kind of what I wanted, but I'm still not quite there. Let me hit random here. Oh, that's not bad. Maybe a little bit too much, though. Try again. Let's try that. Okay, I think I have something. Let me try that. Okay, so let's go with this. I'm going to export this out. And let's try this. All right. I am going to go back to Unity. Let's bring everything in now. So, here are the walls. Let's bring this in here. Oh, don't crash on me now. Just when I think I'm on to something here. Cargo hold, walls, see how this works. Okay. There. All right. And uh, let's take these in. Don't forget the metal this time. Ah. Ah, it's not bad. I kind of... Huh. Okay. That might just work. Will it work if I spin it around and use it on the other side? Uh, you'll never see both sides at once, right? <laughs> so maybe that'll work. Let's try it. There's this. Uh, let's spin this around. Want it, uh, let's do 180. Um, let's bring it a little closer. Uh, something like that. Let's see. Let's run around and see. Oh, you know what? I bet the reflection probe isn't encompassing those things. Let's see. Or is it? Let's go ahead and pull it out some. 
and I bet the directional light isn't hitting both of them at the same time. So I'm going to duplicate this directional light and I'm going to spin it around like this so we can see both of them. Now it's probably too hot in there. Let me just turn these down and run around in here. Oh, well, I kind of buy it in a strange way. Kind of works for me. Something happened to my floor, though. What happened to my floor? Is it just because the lights are on? Yeah, just because the, the lights are pointing down on them, that's all, because they're brighter. Okay. All right, let me enclose it here, and then maybe I can think about lighting in here so I'm not fighting that so much. Let me get these in here. There we go. Like this. There we go. Okay, so let's do that on the other side as well. Okay. All this 90 degrees. And let's move these in as well. Oh. Something happened to those. Okay, let's just try this. We're going to need to set these as static too, aren't we? Let's do that. Let's grab all these walls here. Let's turn on static. Um, about the floor plates as well. Those need to be static. Uh, so it's got a build down here. It's got 29, 27 jobs to build, so it'll be a few minutes before the lighting catches up with me here just to see how it's going to look. But now what I've got to do is figure out lighting in here. And I think I'm going to have to model a um, uh, fluorescent light or something to duplicate and put like every other one on the platforms here inside here and I also want to create a door for people to go into and out of so I'm going to need to do that as well all right so let me clean up again and this is the walls. Let me create a new folder in my textures for the walls. Because I can get disorganized very quickly if I don't do this. Get these in the walls. And there we go. All right. So it's still building the lighting. 
So I'm going to clean up over here while it's doing that as well. So um, I'm going to create an empty and call this uh, walls and put all of these. Oops. In there. I think that's all of them. Right in there. Uh, let me create one for the containers. And because I'm going to be duplicating those all over the place. And I'll create an empty for the floor as well. So everything's nice and tidy. There we go. Okay. Still a lot of building over here happening. So I'm going to go ahead and just run it and see how it looks right now. It's going to pause while I'm in here. So, all right. Yeah, so these are so dark now inside there that they're going to need light fixtures in there. Yeah. All right. So hopefully what I'm going to have is these pools of light, um, but it's going to be mainly dark in there. All right. So I'm going to go take a look at creating one of these doors. I, um, I had a reference image of one of these. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, cargo hold, container, ship, door. So these things. I need to make one of these and duplicate it around. I kind of like this one with the handle here and the handle here. This is kind of cool. This one doesn't look like a door to me. I don't know what all those things are. And this one is too plain. So I kind of like this one and I'd maybe make a bigger frame for it as well. But let's see if maybe we can kind of create one of these real quick. All right. So to do that, I think first of all, what I'm going to do is use um, a cube and then bevel the edges until I get a curve good enough. Let's try that. I'm going to come over here and create a cube. Um, and uh, let's scale it in the Y. I don't really need the back here. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, let's scale it in the Z. Until it's about the right size. I'll sc scale it down to the proper size once I'm done with it. But that feels about right like this. feels like maybe a little bit more like that. Okay, so now what let's try is using the bevel tool, let's grab these edges and um, go to control E and bevel, yes, it's control B, but let's give this a try. So I'm going to go like this, about like that. And then I'm going to come over here and increase the number of, of uh, segments until I get kind of the right curvature here. No, I think I made them a little bit too big. So let me drag the amount like this. That's not too bad. Although, you know what, let's do, let me undo that and 
Yeah, let me apply the scale with Control A and apply the scale, and that oftentimes gives you a better uh, control of the bevel. So now let's try it again. This time I can do Control B. Ah, that's better. Look at that. So maybe something like that. Yeah, that's uh, right off the bat. That's not too bad. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's take this edge here and try and bevel it. And um, see what we can do with this. So I'll press Control B. Whoa. And then I'll... I've got too many edges there, so let me bring the number of segments down to maybe three. And I just want... A little bit of an edge on that. Yeah, something like that. And then let's go to Tools and Smooth It. See how that works. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's, uh, actually I don't want to scale it. I just want to grab that edge here and move that in like that. All right, so there's that door. Now I need that frame, and really all that frame is is just this duplicated and scaled, so let's just do that. I'll duplicate it, move it back, scale it in the Z, scale it in the X. Let's just see how this works. Um, I can take that edge and move it back like this. Okay, a little bit more, I think, like that, and like this. There we go. Okay. So far, so good, I think. And then we need the hinges and the handles. And it looks like there's something right here, but I don't know if that's actually a a thing. Um, let's work on the handle. Yes, apply scale before bevel. That's that is a rule to live by. Um, let me see what else is going on out here. Uh, all right, let me try and do one of these handles. If I just do one, then I can just scale and rotate, I think, and do the other one. So what I'm going to try is maybe go to the top view, and uh, I'm going to create a path here. And let's, um, if I took this and this, what would happen? Let's see. Okay, that's what happens. Let me bring them in like this. Not quite what I want. So if I took this and this, W subdivide, that would add a point there, W subdivide. Yeah, okay. What about if I added a point right in here? This point and this point, W subdivide. Yeah, okay. So now let me grab these and move them back in just a bit. And I could probably grab these too and move them in. Get that curve a little bit better. Okay. Now see if I can do that. There we go. Scale this down. Okay. I'm going to put try and put it in place here. Does it look like it, it looks like it's a little bit off center, like it's not right quite right exactly in the 
center like it's over a bit like that okay put that in like that now let's give it a little bit of there we go so I want it full previews 2 maybe resolution let's call it 2 and I'll click and drag and there we go okay so that's that good I feel like it could be a little bit more well it probably doesn't need to be any more than that does it alright so I'm just gonna duplicate it and move it spin it around the Y R Y nine zero scale it down quite a bit and there we go there we go well I feel like it's a little bit too it's the right size but it's too thin let me increase the depth just a bit let's try that yeah I think that might work and now these hinges hmm oh I think I see what we could do it's really hard to see what's going on in here but if we just created a cube extruded these two out and put a a cylinder in there I think that's all we would need to do what do we see here yeah let's try that don't need to get too tricky with it but uh, let's try it so let's get this into place like this here Where are these? Okay, they're about That's about right. Like this maybe. And then I'm going to move these back. that um, gonna insert two edge loops here scale them like that grab these two faces and I think I just need to extrude these out like that. Now I'm going to take these two faces here, pop the cursor in there, create a cylinder with maybe only eight sides and a triangle fan top. Let's scale that down pretty far. Like this. Okay. And then I feel like we need one more piece back here. It's hard to know what it would be, but I think it would just be kind of a block. Well, you know what we could do? I could just take this no, first I'm going to take this, these two, like that. Then take these two. Move these back. Like this. Mm. Delete those.
Not sure if this is going to work, but it's something to try. There we go. Look at that. Hinge. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to also, it looks to me like this I don't know if I want to do this or not, but I feel like it, it needs a little something there. No, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. So I'll take these pieces now and take them up here. One. There we go. And let's duplicate and move these up here. All right. So I think we have our cargo hold doors. This is going to go in various places throughout the cargo hold, probably on the, the main floor and also up in the stairways as well. So all right. Um, I think that's it for me for today, but uh, let's do this again on Monday. Same time, same place. And uh, we'll work on uh, UV mapping the door, taking it into a Substance Painter, taking it into Unity and placing it and see how it looks. Well, you guys have a great weekend and uh, I'll see you soon. Well, take care.